Okay, welcome back for the final part in our series, more proofs in Young's geometry. Uh, we're going to prove a seventh proposition uh, about Young's geometry. Recall that our axioms said that um, there exists a line in the geometry. Uh, each line contains exactly three points, but each line does not contain all the points. Between any two points in the geometry, there exists exactly one line. And given a line and a point not on that line, there exists a unique line that contains that point that is, does not intersect the given line. Proposition 1 said that given a point, there exists a line not on the point. Given any point in the geometry, there are at least four lines that pass through it. And in fact, there are exactly four lines that pass through it. Given a line in the geometry, there exists exactly two lines that don't intersect it. Uh, there are exactly 12 lines in the geometry, and if it becomes necessary, we can find a set of three lines uh, that for which there are no there is no intersect no intersection, and that's going to turn out to be crucial for this proof. In this proposition, we are going to show that. There are nine points in the geometry. Okay, so here's the idea. Take proposition six. You get three lines. L, L prime, L double prime. Each of these has exactly three points on it by axiom two. So we have at least nine points. Now suppose uh, P is a point in the geometry. Okay, so P is either on L or not on L. If P is on L, then it's obviously one of these nine points. Uh, if P is not on L, then there exists a line that goes through P that doesn't intersect with L, and that line is unique. Well, L prime and L double prime are the only two lines in the geometry that satisfy that. Therefore, uh, P must be one, be one of these six points up here. So either P is on L, or P is not on L. In any case, there are no points apart from the nine that are already drawn here. Okay, so here's our proof. By proposition six, there is a set of lines, L, L prime, L double prime, that are pairwise non-intersecting. which is just a very, very succinct way of saying, given any two of them, there's no intersection between the two of them. Okay. On these three lines, are exactly nine distinct points in total. Let P be a point in the geometry. If P is not on L, then there exists a unique line through P that does not intersect L. But 
L prime and L double prime are the only two lines in the geometry that do not intersect L. Thus P is on L prime or L double prime, if not on L. Therefore, there are exactly nine points in the geometry. we win. And uh, this is the last thing I'm going to prove about Young's geometry. I hope you've enjoyed uh, this series. I hope this has given you a sense for the kind of things that, that we're looking for in a proof um, and the kind of ideas that, uh, that we use when we are trying to, to put together these sorts of arguments. Um, if there are any questions or concerns, certainly email me. Uh, I also plan to have a discussion forum um, dedicated to uh, discussion of these five proofs. Uh, enjoy your evening.